Hello my friends, I'm going to show you how to make a professional looking book cover for your book. And it's really simple, when you get the hang of it you can make one of these in about five minutes. So there's no reason to not launch your book. Okay, the first thing we need is one program called Inkscape. And that's all we need. So, if you go to Inkscape, you Google it, Inkscape, download it, this is what we want. Linux, Mac, Windows. Download this program. It's a free vector graphics editor. It's awesome. And we're going to make our book cover with that. And that's all you need. You don't need any Microsoft products. No Windows or Visio or anything. It's all free. So download Inkscape before you proceed. So as you see, I like Air Force books. So I want to make a cover like this. As you can see, I, make, I made a lot of them. They all took about maximum 20 minutes. Okay? So with this cover, I wanted an F-22. But not only that, I want a free F-22. So what we're going to do is look for non-copyrighted stuff in Wikimedia Commons. And that is the best place. Just go straight to Wikipedia or Wikimedia and search your F-22. Okay. Go to the images. Look at all of these things here. You can see Wikipedia, 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 Wikipedia. Almost everything in Wikipedia is not copyrighted. So let's go to my picture of choice. I'm going to open up several tabs here. Oh, there's another one. Okay. No. No, I only want the stuff in Wikipedia, Russian Wikipedia. Okay, let's check this out. This is the one I want for my cover. Look at here, CCBYSA 2.0. That is an open Wikimedia or open commons copyright. Let's go for more details. Look at this copyright. We have to put this copyright in there with this guy's name. We have to read all of this so we know what that means. Let's go back. Let's read about CCBYSA 2.0. Adapt, remix, transform, and build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially. But we have to give the appropriate credit. Okay. Good. I'll put that in the book. CCBYSA. And then I will probably put the guy's name here. Magnus Manske. Let's look at this one. It's awesome. German picture. Oh, that's even better. No copyright at all. Public domain. This is pretty cool. Let us use this one instead of the other one. I'm going to download the largest version. Ah, look, it's pixelated, isn't it? Okay, I'm not going to. Let's stick with our original file here. This one right here. I'm going to download the largest file. Okay, that was pretty quick because I've been doing this all day practicing. Save image as. Well, there we go. Downloads. Okay. Now, let's look at the Kindle Direct guidelines, Kindle Direct publishing guidelines. They tell us we should use 1.6 ratio. 1 to 1.6. That happens to be the golden ratio, Rho, from Egypt. Let's look at some Kindle covers. You'll notice Kindle 
Amazon doesn't even use their own guideline. This is not 1.6 to 1. This is. It's very narrow if you ask me. It's pretty thin looking. This is more like 8.5 times 11. 1.2 by 1. Look at this one. It's almost square. It's almost 1 to 1. Here's another one. That looks like 8.5 times 11. Okay, so Kindle guidelines are guidelines. You don't have to make it exactly 1.6 to 1. So I'm going to show you now how to set up your Inkscape. We're going to open our Inkscape. Inkscape is a heavy program. It takes a while to load and you will notice if you have a good processor and enough RAM in your computer when you are editing larger graphics. Okay, see how long that took? So, the defaults are pretty good. What we're going to do now is go to the document properties. A4, German size, 210 by 297 millimeters. This is a really good size, actually. 210 divided by 297, or the other way around, 297 divided by 210 is 1.41. That's a good ratio. U.S. letter size is even fatter. You can use either one you want. The Kindle guidelines are just guidelines. I like to use A4 and that's what we're going to use now. So now we are going to open our file, our F22. Where was it? In the downloads. We're going to embed it. Hmm. Okay, it opened a brand new Inkscape. Okay, back to document properties. Let's use A4. That's that. See where it is? We're going to have to do that again. A4, portrait. Now what we're going to do is shrink it by holding the control CTR all button and grabbing it. This will keep the proportions. If I don't hit the control button, this happens. Yeah. So let's reset that. Hit the control button and drag it. Okay. That's just about how I want it. I can center it on the page like that. Go to the page view. There we go. Okay. So obviously uh, the blue isn't big enough. Let's add some blue rectangles. Uh, there's no fill. Let's fill them with this same color here. Let's move it down to the bottom. There you go. Let's m add another one. Move it down to the bottom. There we go. Now we want to do the properties of the rectangles. We do not want any outline, any stroke. Get rid of it. Mark it. Get rid of it. So, looks weird, doesn't it? But when we export, it's not going to look weird. Another thing you want to do in the document properties is show border shadow, show border on top of drawing. So you know where you should be putting your stuff. Okay, this is an A4 size, which gives us a ratio of 1.41 to 1. Now, the beauty of Inkscape is the lettering. Let's add some lettering, right? With your lettering tool, right here. Okay. United States. I'm going to put that on the next line. Air Force Pilot, right? Go back to your pointer tool, and then just put this in the middle of the page. 
boom okay now what's really nice about this is in order to change the font size we just drag it so again to keep the relationships hit your control key and then drag it like this if you don't this is what happens okay so start over control reposition it resize it now this is the fun part you get to play with Inkscape so I want white okay what if I want a black outline I go to my properties here which was this button here right get rid of them all let's get rid of them all now it's over here can open it with that one the stroke let's put a stroke on that ah nice black outline right you can waste hours and hours doing this stuff now watch this filters ABC's black outline boom right let's go back let's remove that don't like it you can really spend a lot of time here and make it look really cool shadows and glows is one of my favorite drop drop shadow apply boom look at that that looks pretty cool I'm gonna leave it like that however I'm gonna go back to my lettering and I want it thicker so okay right okay now we're not even again so go back to your grab tool center it on the page hmm it's a little bit too big so push the control button a little bit smaller recenter okay now then what was the other one four kids let's do that four kids four kids let's change that oh wow I've got way too many fonts if you just installed Inkscape on your standard Windows system just leave it like that I've been playing way too many with way too many fonts here free sans hmm uh, let's leave it at that for now I'm gonna have to mess with those fonts again but let's make it italic there we go now you grab her or you just hit F1 yeah and let's center that bring it back up here hmm this one's this one's too low isn't it let's move that up a bit and I use the buttons to do that the page up and down buttons hit the control button there we go recenter I like that what else did we have we had the we had the Air Force symbol so guess what we do we go back to Wikipedia again right let's go back to Wikipedia and look for the Air Force Wikipedia US Air Force United States Air Force mm-hmm oh there's their symbol right there mm-hmm haha <laughs> no copyright isn't that wonderful let's see some more details look at that it's a PNG which means it has an alpha channel or a transparency channel that's exactly what we want original file is a little bit too big we don't need that 715 by 600 will do just fine let's download that into the downloads okay let's go back to our Air Force book file import downloads there it is already marked for us isn't that great embed it and there we go look at that I don't have to cut anything out at all use a PNG because they can support transparencies now hitting the control button I'm gonna resize it oh, look at that recenter it okay it's still too big hit the control button do it again there you go I'm gonna use the arrows this time to move it up so 
If you hit the shift button, you can move it more. Okay, what else did we have? That's about it for now. That was that one. Okay, so now you see we have this page document. We're going to export it. For our thumbnail, we're going to export it at 90 dpi. This is perfect if you use the A4 document or an 8x11 document, or you can manually set it at 1500 by 1000 pixels. It's all in your document preferences here. You can set it manually right here. You can, if you want 1500 by 1000 pixels, you can do that. But A4 works really well. So we're going to export it. I use Control Shift E, or you can just hit there, Export Bitmap. Now, important, important. We are exporting the page here the page, not the drawing or the selection or custom. We're exporting the page at 90 dpi's and that's going to be 744 for 1052. And that is perfect for a thumbnail in Amazon. Okay, we have to give it a name to get to establish the path in Inkscape. There we go, it's going to the download. So I'm going to make this my US Air Force cover thumbnail dot PNG okay export alright now I'm gonna do it at 200 dpi just in case I have a book signing or something and I need a big huge banner have to rename it right let's say banner this is the beauty of Inkscape now I can export any size I want. 300 dpi I don't recommend because with modern printing methods and modern printers you don't really need the 300 dpi. That was an industry standard which was great for photos in 8 by 11 sizes but 200 dpi is enough now. Your printer will tell you if they absolutely have to have the 300 dpi. So here we go. There is our cover all done. And we, when you get the hang of this, you'll be able to do this in five minutes. Now a word on the super duper awesome, awesome book covers like this. I do not recommend those. You will never get those for free. Those are going to cost you 100 or hundreds of dollars because a graphic artist literally spent hundreds of hours on these. So your, your book will be judged by its cover. Your book cover needs to be good and it needs to catch the eye in Amazon. This I understand the fantasy and the science fiction guys they want these beautiful oil paintings. Uh, I consider it a waste of time and resources but okay in that genre maybe you need this. You're not going to get this for free. I showed you the best way to make a, a good looking cover for free. I will be talking more about this in upcoming episodes and show you how to make better covers for free. Thank you very much for listening and please go to my webpage and subscribe for more.